Hello Sagittarius and welcome to my spiritual oasis here weary souls come to find inner wisdom and peace. Today we are doing an almost personal deep dive reading on what makes you happy. So this message is based off of your areas of life reading where this was really your inquiry. Um, you had the hermit energy and your happiness uh, and the happiness position in your areas of life reading. Happiness was your guiding um, message as well. And so we're really taking a deep dive into the sun energy. The sun, I want to say, was in your success um, space. So what brings you vitality? What brings you life? What brings you happiness? What brings you joy? That's really what we're taking a deep dive um, in today for your almost personal message. So we are going to start our journey off with our Gods and Titans deck. So while I shuffle out your energy here, would love for you to join me on YouTube if we're not already connected by subscribing to my YouTube channel. Drop a comment down below if something resonates with you today. Click like on this video. Of course, supports my channel. I appreciate that. If you're interested in your own personal reading, connect me on Etsy. Link is in the description below. I curate all kinds of content on my Etsy shop to assist you and other beautiful kindred souls like you on your spiritual path, purpose, and journey. So check that out if you're feeling moved to do so. All right, so we have a cot as your guiding energy. So a cot uh, talks about dedication. I mean, I I feel like that's honestly really right on point with our message here. So what brings you joy? What makes you happy? What brings you happiness? And sustainable happiness is joy. Um, what makes you feel alive? And, um, you know, what, what, what are you passionate about? Well, you're passionate about the things that you're dedicated to, the things that are meaningful to you. We dedicate ourselves to things that are meaningful to us um our work a cause education um self-improvements family you know there's a lot of things that we could be dedicated to i also feel like there's a message here around whatever it is that you do you want to be able to dedicate yourself um in a holistic way to whatever that is so a lot of really intense passionate fiery energy um with you Sagittarius which I'm not at all surprised by of course we have the fool of course so the message I'm getting here that in order to fulfill that happiness a sojourn is necessary which we saw we saw the hermit um in your happiness space so I feel like there's an awareness that you need to um, embark on a journey. Um, I know the Fool is associated with Aquarius energy, but I'm really feeling like this is your energy, Sagittarius, because you are mutable fire, um, adventurous, you shoot for the stars, you're very active, uh, you have a very active energy with the centaur as you're, um, you know, representing you. And zodiac um, there is an intensity a requirement to be free a youthful disposition so not necessarily in years but a youthful disposition approaching life um, from a youthful curious and um, some risk-taking I feel like uh, strategic risk-taking but some risk-taking nonetheless the queen of swords i did not did not say something about strategic risk taking <laughs> so i feel like i feel like um the queen of swords is really just reiterating literally what i said about strategic uh, risk taking because that'll reduce your burden um yes you want to be the fool you want to go out you want to discover um in in a light and a youthful sensibility sort of way but you don't want to be overwhelmed. You don't want to be burdened. You don't want to be stressed out. You don't want to get yourself into a pickle. Um, so like tempering, tempering that, um, tempering the risk, a risk management is how I'm seeing that 
through the Queen of Swords energy and being discerning, being logical, being critical um, with things. You're not just blindly, you know, um, roaming around through life, but you're you're moving with purpose and intention, nurturing and nourishing the seed of truth of reality so you are there's a reality check here there's there's some sobering energy here and logical energy here which I actually really uh like a lot especially with all the fire um and then we have our tower so what i'm feeling here is that you're going to embark on this journey with one I feel like there's going to be maybe an inkling of what you're like an inkling of an interest or an inkling of a direction and then as you navigate through there's actually going to be an aha moment is what i'm feeling here is that you're going to run into something that's like yes that's it that's it that's it and i feel like going in with a cool head setting yourself up right um being a little bit more logical a little bit more reasonable a little more patience if that's needed um i feel like that's gonna set you up well to be able to react to the tower moment in a way that isn't panicky um and in a way that isn't uh, overwhelmed and burdened so i'm getting the message with the four of pentacles that it's going to be critical for you to manage your finances and resources your worldly resources um and i feel like kind of in preparation for like walking away from something emotionally um that isn't serving you uh, there seems to be a, uh, a, a point of view shift here um shifting the way that you look at at life that you look at things in your life in general but it seems like there's going to be um, some kind of sh like a, a huge, sizable shift. Oh, it might take you off. It might take you back, take you off guard here. This is Mars energy. So if you have um, Aries or Scorpio in your chart, you'll want to use that energy to help navigate. Um, Okay, dropping stuff. All right, I'm supposed, supposed to be upside down. It's the hangman, um, or the hanged person. Um, so we have the hangman, which I feel like, um, I feel like in a lot of ways it, it kind of makes sense. It's almost saying like, you're going on this adventure, you're following your truth and you know, being reasonable and logical and discerning and doing all of the beautiful Queen of Swords things. You run into this aha moment, boom, blows your, blows your whole world up, changes your perspective, your points of view, and right under the surface of this, and I feel like as an outcome of this journey is clarity on your North Star. I feel like right now it's hidden. It's hidden energy um and you're uncertain but once we move through these series of events like taking a leap of faith taking that first step out on faith if you will and exploring what's that what it is that brings you joy makes you feel alive revitalized something that you can put your will behind something that you can dedicate yourself to and your energy to um, is that truth, the star, the guiding light in the darkness. Um, but I do feel like it's going to, um, I feel like it's going to be kind of, a, um, I want to say a shock, but it is going to be, um, Transformative is the word that I feel like is uh, pretty great. 
And I feel like the sun showing up here is just a confirmation or reiteration that this journey does indeed lead to our beautiful sun. Empress underlying. Yes, it is going to take work. It's going to take dedication. Um, but that's the price to pay for abundance and prosperity and success. Judgment. I feel like judgment is saying like discovery, right? You go through all of this and you 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 find your joy you find your your vitality and it is uh, a freeing moment for you it's a come to jesus moment if you will um The winds of change. It's number six energy. Yeah. Uh, it feels like a calmer version of the tower. Um, but it's like once you've seen the light, and the uh, Ace of Swords is underlying judgment, clarity of your vision. Once you've seen the light, I have a feeling that this change, this change feels more holistic. Whereas this change felt more abrupt and it actually felt more internal like a realization, I said an aha moment, a realization that puts you in suspension. It gets you, it kind of turns turns your point of view or perspective upside down of, of how you thought what you thought. Um, and then once the epiphany is reached, once the clarity is had, once the work has been put in, it, it, it is freeing and it is joyous. It's something that you can put your energy behind. It's something that you're happy to put your energy efforts, resources, etc., into and uh, behind. Get laser focused, says Azurite. Get laser focused. Focused. Final message. Schedule yourself in. Okay. Love a good ocean jasper message. <sighs> All right, Sagittarius. So, discovering our sun. What makes us joyous what makes us happy what can we dedicate ourselves to it's a journey an individual journey that all of us should take hopefully everyone takes the journey it's obviously a choice it's a decision that you have to make um It's a journey of faith while still being discerning and intelligent, using your intellect, um, your mind space to guide you, right? You're not just running out there being ridiculous. You're being strategic. Um, you're nurturing and nourishing the seed of your truth, your guidance, your true north. An aha moment, something clicks. 
You're like, this is it. But you can't quite see that it is the sun yet until you go on the sojourn, until you do something different, until you change your perspective and your points of view and you get all the other elements around you to also shift and change. And then the vision, the acknowledgement, the truth of the thing will reveal itself and it will free you. Free you to live your life in the light of your truth. And this journey that we saw unfold is going to change everything it's going to change like your the whole the whole way you kind of function in your life um people will start seeing it here people around you will start seeing it here you might relocate you might you know purge your home and maybe become a minimalist i don't know making things up but the change is going to be, become obvious here to those around you but the real change happened back here inside a sojourn of the sun is a sojourn of our solar plexus chakral energy. If you have Leo in your chart, use it. Pisces in your chart, use it. Um, Aquarius. But this idea that the, the journey to the sun, toward the sun, living in the light of the sun, is a journey of our solar plexus chakral energy, which is the chakra that um, lives like right like behind our belly button basically it's at the core of our being it's our core our center it's where our self energies live self self-respect self-esteem self-care self all of that all of the self things self-respect that's that same so i said self-respect already so this is a deep journey which we saw with the hermits in the happiness zone. We knew it was gonna be a deep journey. We knew it was going to be a sojourn. Um, the journey taking us into the nights with only our star to guide us. On the other side of that is loving change. And in order to reach that, there's a requirement for focus. And I feel like our Ocean Jasper is reminding us, even on this journey, this very meaningful journey, that we have to make sure that we are scheduling ourselves in. If you are the type of person that puts you last, today is the day that you put you first, you fill your cup up to overflowing so that the waters can overflow into those places, spaces, and people around you to fill their cups up as well. But you cannot fill cups if your cup is empty. Make sure that you're resting on this journey. Make, make sure that you're taking it one step at a time. Don't rush it. It will unfold in its own time is the message that I'm getting. Um, you only control the things that you can control, which I feel like is the Queen of Swords. Um, she's powerful, mature. But I feel like she understands the because she's mature, she understands the workings of the world and she understands that there are only so many things that she can affect, that she can change. And those are the things that she focuses on, focuses on. Um, and then the universe is going to be doing other things in collaboration with you in order to bring this all full circle. All right. So, my beautiful Sagittarius, these are the messages that I have channeled for you today. I certainly hope this was helpful. If something resonated, do drop a comment down below. Click like and subscribe, and I'll see you in an upcoming message.